Hey everyone and welcome to Metal Nights with the Metal Coach. We're talking about all things rock, hard rock, and heavy metal. I want to apologize to all my subscribers, all my family, all my friends who are very dedicated uh, followers. I want to apologize for being away from the channel for so long. Um, I've been recovering from major knee surgery that I had on August 16th. Also, school has started back up. And with my coaching and teaching duties, I have just not been able to do what I love to do, and that is bringing you the best reactions on YouTube. So we are kicking off my return to the channel with my good friend, Mark Sintani's Christian metal supergroup called Harpazo. The track I will be talking about tonight is called i from their debut album called The Crucible that released on June 28th on Rock Shot Records. But before we check out Harpazo's song i like, subscribe, add some comments to support the channel, all that and more when the Metal Coach returns, coming up. Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Stephen, the Metal Coach Holly. Tonight, I have the Christian metal supergroup Harpazo with their second single off their debut album called The Crucible. Uh, the song is called i -Core. Um, Of course, it's off the Crucible that released on June 28th on Rock Shot Records. First off, I want to say thank you personally to my friend Mark Santani for sending me an advance copy of The Crucible before it was released. Um, Mark, great, great album. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. I absolutely love it. Um, if you have not checked out this album, guys, you need to go pick it up because it is freaking brilliant. Uh, of course, Harpazo is a me super group, a Christian metal super group that has a very prestigious lineup of mo uh, progressive metal and rock legends that have come together to create a modern rock opera. You have hints of Avantasia, Queensryche, Mind Crime, Camelot, a little bit of Dream Theater. For this song, i -Core, you get an impressive list of players. On co-lead vocals, you have D.C. Cooper from Royal Hunt. You have Gary Weirkamp uh, from Shadow Gallery. He is also handling all the bass playing throughout the album. He also is the lead guitarist along with my friend Mark Sintani. On the drums, you have Mark Zander from Warlord and Fate's Warning. The video uh, was created by Mark Sintani, um, who did an amazing job on it. Me and him actually discussed this several weeks back that he was putting it together. And hey, brother, it is freaking brilliant. I love it. Um, let's just give a little bit of insight into the story of this song. Of course, with this is a rock opera. Um, I want to be able to have everybody understand the what's taking place in the song. The narrative of i commences with a gripping intro of our anti-hero protagonist, Michael Lightborn, being turned into a cybernetically augmented assassin for Solomon Industries. His job is to influence politicians, eliminate world leaders, and help Jude Solomon establish his new world order using the life-changing serum known as i -Core. So let's get into the metal. Let's check out i -Core from Harpazo. Let's go right now.
control They've opened my eyes Wow, you know, um, I really like this one. To me, it has a really cool Operation Mindcrime vibe to it. And of course, Mindcrime is my favorite Queensryche album. And it is, in my opinion, the album that every rock opera is compared to. Um, that's where it, that's the measuring stick right there. I will tell you this, Harpazo and the album The Crucible hold its own against Operation Mindcrime. I know that it's something that's a huge thing to say, but I really do feel that it is that good. That's how good this album is. Um, I love how this song has so many different layers and elements going on throughout the track. You get that slower, more subdued parts that slowly build into a full-fledged uh, metal attack, and I absolutely love it. On this track, you get incredible guitar work throughout. You get those soaring operatic vocals in the vein of Jeff Tate amazing orchestral elements that just add a lot of depth and intensity to it brilliant thunderous drumming killer bass lines um so let's get into the rest of the song let's break it all down let's go ahead and start off by talking about the vocals uh from weir camp and cooper on this track uh weir camp um who plays the role of jude solomon who is the creator of a human enhancement serum used to create a new world order. His vocal performance is just freaking amazing. Um, his vocals are deep, resonant, and melodic. Um, soaring most of the time, which helps to bring that intensity to the verses of the song. His vocal abilities help convey a sense of authority and power that perfectly fits the role of Jude Solomon. His vocal delivery is both intense and controlled, which adds drama and depth to the story that is being told and really sets the stage for an epic tale that is being told over the 12 tracks on this album. Just freaking brilliant overall. So now let's move on to Cooper's vocals. Cooper takes on the role of the anti-hero, Michael Lightborn, who is being turned into a cybernetically augmented assassin for Solomon Industries. His vocals start out, start out with that lower register than just soar in that opening verse of the song. He has a lot of control over his vocals and has impressive range. His vocals on this song are integral to the storytelling aspect of it. At times, his vocals are kind of haunting as he slowly comes around to the idea of being that augmented assassin will do Jude Solomon's bidding. Um, together, these two musicians really add a lot of power, intensity, and intrigue to the song. Just freaking brilliant vocals from these guys, in my opinion. I love it. Let's go ahead and get into the instrumentation a little bit of this song. Um, I think the way that it was put together is freaking brilliant. Probably some of the best instrumentation I've heard in a long time on an album. These guys are just super talented, and it shows throughout the album how good of musicians they are. The rhythm section of Weir Camp on the bass and Xander on the drums are killer. The bass playing by Weir Camp is amazing. I feel on this song, it's a more intricate than what he did on I Am God, uh, the first single that was released from The Crucible. His bass lines are thick, they're beefy, with a sonic bottom end to it. Um, I feel it adds depth and intensity to the track, and it sounds great turned up really loud. It just rumbles in your speakers. Uh, the drumming of Xander is on point throughout the track. His playing really drives the song forward with power and intensity. I love how he has timely drum fills when it's needed and how he plays with more power as the intensity of the song builds into those epic heavy parts of the song. Just freaking brilliant in my opinion. Great job. Let's go ahead and talk about um, the instrumentation of Weir Camp and Santani on guitars. I think their guitar riffs throughout this track are heavy, they're epic, they're intricate. Uh, their playing on the song really adds a lot of intensity, adds depth and feeling while telling the story of i -Corps. I love the timely guitar solo parts that the song has that really give it an extra punch to it and also gives me that Queensryche vibe. That's what I really like about it. I feel like I'm listening to a, queen, a song that could have been on Mind Crime. 
Um, just epic and brilliant, in my opinion. Their guitar playing is spectacular. Another thing that I like to talk about on all the songs that I break down is the production value. Um, I think the way that they uh, mix this song and the production value of i is freaking brilliant. Sintani and Weirkamp have really taken their time to make sure the mix matches up with the intensity of the story being told. The mix is well balanced, it's crisp, it's clean. The way it was produced allows every instrument to shine through while keeping the vocals front and center. I love how they have added the orchestral elements to the song during the mix and production of the song. It really enhances the song's energy and the vibe that you get from the song and from the storytelling aspect of it. The production enhances the song's dramatic impact without overshadowing the raw energy and talent of this band. It's polished, but still retains its authentic, powerful, energetic, and operatic feeling to it. Just freaking brilliant. Great job, guys. So there you go, my fellow metalheads. Harpazo with the song i from the debut album called The Crucible that is out now on Rock Shot Records. If you haven't gotten it, go get it because it's brilliant. So if you enjoy cool concept albums with, from bands like Queensryche, like I do, you're going to absolutely love this band. You're going to absolutely love this album. So guys, what do you think of the track i -Core? What do you think of the band Harpazo? Guys, leave some comments in the comments section. Let's talk about this terrific Christian supergroup that's out there. They are freaking brilliant. Let's continue to build the channel and continue to get that dialogue going. Also, guys, don't forget to check out The Metal Coach on Twitter and on TikTok. Please check out my brand new merchandise page by clicking on the link in the corner of the video or on the description page and pick up something really nice for you and your loved ones. Guys, as always, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for watching. As always, keep it fun. Keep it metal. Crank up something loud tonight. Keep that metal flame burning. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the other side. Keep it metal.